Hello, it's Alex and welcome to Hey Little Thrifter. Today I'm going to be talking about The Cipher by Kathy Koja. This was a book I read recently and it absolutely blew me away. I don't think I've read anything quite like this book before. I loved it from start to finish and I gave it five stars. To give you a bit of context, this book was originally published in 1991. It was not only Kathy Koja's debut novel, but it was also the first in the Abyss imprint of the publisher Dell. They were trying to move away from the Stephen King and Dean Koontz bestsellers that had saturated the horror market in the 80s, and they were really pushing for a new kind of horror and new voices within the genre. Also, Kathy Koja won the Bram Stoker Award and the Locus Award for Best First Novel for the Cypher. The original paperback, with this amazing artwork, goes for $60 to $100 today, so sadly I was not flush enough to be able to spend that on a book. I wish I was, but instead I bought this on Kindle for just a few dollars and yeah, one of the best things I've spent $3.99 on. So, The Cypher is about Nicholas and Nakota. We join them as they are talking about something they've called the fun hole. And it is a hole that they have found in an unused storage room in Nicholas's apartment building. Initial curiosity develops into full-blown obsession as they try to figure out what it is, what it does, what it means. They start to lower things into the fun hole to see what happens to them. It starts off with a jar of insects and on bringing the jar back out of the hole, the insects have changed. Everything they put into the hole comes back transformed. Then one day, Nicholas's arm accidentally goes into the fun hole and he also starts to change. Nicholas is a video store employee by day and a drunken wannabe poet by night. Nakota works in a divey nightclub and she also frequents her friend's exhibitions in the underground art scene. This is set in the 90s and it feels very of its time, but it also still feels really new and fresh and interesting. As the story goes on, we're introduced to some more characters and honestly, not many of them are particularly likeable, but I still absolutely loved reading about them. I thought they were all so incredibly well fleshed out. They were realistic. They just felt so authentic. Nicholas and Nakota have quite an interesting relationship. They are friends, acquaintances, lovers, enemies, all at the same time. And their relationship definitely transforms as the story develops. There are flashes of intensity in their relationship, in amongst stretches of the everyday mundane, and I found all of it fascinating. I thought her writing was so good that even the boring stuff about making a peanut butter sandwich was just endlessly interesting. I was immediately drawn in by Kathy Koja's writing style. It is somewhat disjointed, somewhat stream of consciousness, and it definitely has its own flow, and I personally liked it a lot. Her writing is also incredibly evocative, and you can definitely get such a feel of the atmosphere and the grimy nature of the environment. A couple of other things that it made me think of while I was reading this was Videodrome by David Cronenberg and House of Leaves by Mark Z. Danielowski. And while the cipher isn't really at all like either of these things, there were definitely moments of the body horror imagery of Videodrome and also the unnerving, unsettling feel of House of Leaves. I read this as a buddy read with the wonderful Emily at Page Turns. I will leave a link to her channel below and we both absolutely loved this book. We had a great time talking about it as we were reading it and it was 
such a great experience to be able to dissect it together as we went through it. I had a glance at other reviews for this book and it seems the people that didn't like it, some of their reasons were they didn't like the writing style, they found all of the characters unlikable and they didn't like the ambiguous, somewhat confusing nature of the book. And honestly, those were some of the things that I absolutely loved about the book, so to each their own. There is so much more to be said about this book, but I don't want to get into spoiler territory, so hopefully this video will give you enough of a taste to know if you want to check it out for yourself or not. I highly recommend that you do. This book is disturbing, bizarre and brilliant. I loved it from start to finish. I definitely want to get my hands on more of Kathy Koja's work. I hear great things about some of her other 90s horror novels and I would love to get my hands on them. Let me know if you've read The Cypher and tell me what you thought or let me know if you are interested to pick it up. Thank you ever so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Bye!